you're an Ohio small business owner. You've worked hard to turn a bright idea into a thriving business. Navigating sales tax for your business can seem daunting, but it doesn't have to be. If you offer goods or certain services to consumers, you are required by Ohio law to collect sales tax on those items. You then must remit or give those funds to the state to help pay for public education, health care, and other state programs. As a consumer, you've probably noticed sales tax on many goods, clothing, household goods, and so on. Taxable items are really anything sold, leased, or rented that can be physically touched, seen, or measured. Certain services can also be taxed. Think towing, tattooing, or private investigation. Learn more about what is and is not taxable in the Ohio Revised Code at codes.ohio.gov. In Ohio, there is a state sales tax rate of 5.75%, plus a county sales tax rate that varies county to county. For example, total sales tax in Franklin County is 7.50%, while in Cuyahoga County, it is 8.0%. You can find the county rates and any changes to the rate on the Ohio Department of Taxation's website, tax.ohio.gov, under Resources for Businesses. We recommend that you check this page quarterly for any rate changes. Now, let's look at use tax briefly. Use tax often needs to be paid in cases where you did not pay sales tax. For example, say you purchase equipment for your Ohio business from Indiana and were not charged sales tax. You would need to pay use tax for the use of those items in Ohio. Now, let's look at some example scenarios of how our business owners might navigate sales taxes. Zane is the proud new owner of an online shop, QueenCityCandles.com. He first needs to register with the Ohio Department of Taxation for a county vendor's license so that he can file his sales taxes, which he will do either monthly or semi-annually, regardless if he makes any money or not. Registration costs $25, and he will register for Hamilton County in which he resides and runs his online shop. Zane can register through the Business Gateway, a one-stop shop for Ohio business owners. As an online store, Zane will charge the Hamilton County sales tax rate to any of his Ohio customers, no matter where they are located. If Zane gets a customer from nearby Kentucky, he will need to reach out to that state for guidance on the appropriate rate to charge. Lastly, if Zane decides to travel across the state to sell his candles at local craft fairs, then he will need to apply for a separate transient vendor's license, allowing him to sell in all 88 counties using their tax rates. Next, Kira has a brick-and-mortar plant shop in Sandusky called Cedar Point Setias. Business is blooming, so they are about to open a new location in Ottawa County to the north. Since Kira already has county vendors licenses for both stores, they can make life easier by registering for a free cumulative account with the Ohio Department of Taxation. A cumulative account will enable them to file one sales tax return for both store locations at the same time. If their business continues to expand to new branches in Ohio, each location's county vendor's license will automatically be added to that cumulative account, saving Kira lots of time and headache. Let's look at one final case, penguin pruning and lawn care. Ronnie runs her business out of her house, traveling around her own Mahoning County as well as the neighboring counties in Northeast Ohio. She has a county vendor's license, like Zane and Kira, but because her house is just a hub for her lawn care service, she collects sales tax a little differently. Ronnie must charge the sales tax of the county where her customers are located. Ohio sales and use tax doesn't have to be complicated, but if you need help, please contact the Ohio Department of Taxation at 888-405-4039.